Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and this video is for all of my AMD enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your AMD editor lane software to improve your FPS and get better performance in gaming. So if you guys are using the AMD Radeon GPU, this video is for all of you guys. Make sure to watch it till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, first things first is getting the AMD Edrelene software, which you can get it from the link in the description below. This software will help you to update your graphic card drivers to the latest version, and it will also help you to set up your graphic card for gaming. You can simply click on the download now button and install the software naturally. Once you're done with that, you have to simply right click on any empty area of your desktop and then select AMD Software Edrelene Edition right over here. And then in the home section, you have to look up for driver and software and click on check for updates to see if you're updated to the latest version. This is super Super, super important because you always want your graphic card driver to be updated because AMD keeps on bringing fixes for the new games and improves the performance of your graphic card with every new driver update. Once you're done with that, you have to go over to the gaming section, then go over to the graphic section and right over here you'll find radeon super resolution you have to enable this thing and the sharpen effect should be set to 75 percent right after that you'll find amd fluid motion frames and anti-lag you have to enable both of them and you have to disable the boost chill image sharpening and enhanced vsync turn all of them off next is wait for vertical refresh you have to set this thing to always off frame rate target control set this thing to disable anti-aliasing use application settings and the method should be set to multi-sampling then morphological anti-aliasing should be disabled anisotropic filtering should be turned on anisotropic filtering level should be set to 2x uh, texture filtering quality you have to set this thing to standard and the surface format optimization should be set to enable tessellation mode should be amd optimized and open gl triple buffering and the 10 bit pixel format you have to disable both of them and once you're done with that do not forget to reset your shader cache this is super important because it will clean up the older settings of your graphic card and it will also help you to boost your fps next thing to do is locate your display settings and then over here you have to enable amd FreeSync premium if this is available for your monitor and then the gpu scaling should be turned on scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio and integer scaling should be turned off now the best part comes over here is the color depth for some monitor it will be only 8 bpc but for some it can go up to 10 so you have to set the highest color depth available for your monitor then for the pixel format go with rgb and make sure that this is set to full rgb display color enhancement you have to set this thing to disabled and custom color you have to enable this thing and for the saturation set this thing to 150 because this will make your display look a little bit more vibrant and the contrast should be set to 110 right after that go over to record and stream and in there go over to the settings part then you have to set a record display and show indicator both of them off then you have instant replay instant gif and in-game replay make sure to turn off all of them after that go over to the performance section and then go over to the tuning part over here you have to locate your gpu section and then in tuning control make sure this is set to default and the amd smart access memory make sure to enable that if that is available for your pc it is not available for me but this is super beneficial for your gaming after that, go over to the settings part and make sure that hide metric overlay during logging is turned on. Last in this smart technology, you have to once again find AMD smart access memory and if this is available, simply enable that as well. And once you're done with that, you are good to go. Alright guys, so those were the best AMD Radeon settings, but now let's come to the more important part that is optimization of the graphic card itself. And for that, you have to create a restore point first. So simply look up for create a restore point on your PC, look for a local disk C, simply click on create and name it Radeon just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every setting back to normal without any data loss. Last and final step is the AMD Radeon optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this up and in here you'll find in four simple folders first one is the command latency tweaks and in here you'll find some of these command prompt files you have to right click and run this as administrator all of them contains useful command prompt files that you do not have to run manually it will be automatically done so first one will disable the bcd tweaks second one will disable your memory compression third one will disable process mitigation and last one is for the input latency all of them will help you to increase the performance of your graphic card Second one is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of preset. You can simply run the RAM that you're using. I currently use 32 GB RAM on my PC, so I need to run this one, but it could be different for you. So you can pick one from the preset. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. 
Next one is the AMD GPU optimization folder, which contains all of the files that are really essential for your AMD GPU. First one is the best GPU settings. Second one is the SFIO priority. Third one is disabling energy driver. Fourth one is power throttling. And lastly is the prioritize AMD GPU for gaming. I highly recommend you guys to double click and run all of these registry as this will help you for better performance of your graphic card. Last is the clean temporary files in which I have left local temp. You can control A and shift delete all of these files. Once again, you cannot delete some of them because they are currently in use. So you have to skip all of them. After that, come to the second file, which is the Windows temp. And you have to do once again, shift delete all of these files and continue to delete all of them. However, you can't delete some of them so you can skip them. Once it is done, you can close your temporary files. And now your PC is ready to play games with the maximum performance possible. I hope this video helps you out. So make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, you can check out channel membership if you guys want to support me out. Also, leave your specs down in the comments below so I can help you guys with the best settings. And we'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.